Hi there, Ruby Retrograde Tarot and Tea here, and what will I be serving up? It's day nine of Ithany's uh, 31 Days of Tarot. Now for day nine, the question is, what are the top decks on my wish list right now? I, oh, I had so many. So the best way that I found to kind of narrow it, narrow it down is to go through my Amazon wish list where I kind of just bookmark uh, bookmark deck that I found uh, interesting or that I like or that I I'm really want to look out for when either um, I'll purchase either when it comes out or maybe if I really really would like to, to want it then I'll go and pre-order it but usually what I do for my Amazon wish list is that if there's a deck that I'm interested in if it happens to also be on Amazon which most of the time most of the decks that I am interested in are I'll just kind of uh, put it there and then you know uh, once in a while if I remember it I'll take a look at it see if uh, there are pictures or anything like that and if I, I really you know the the um, the pull is really there then I know that it's a deck that I would like to add to my collections so Without further ado, let's start with, um, it's not, I should also say as an aside that it's not in a list of preference. Um, my wish list is either decks that uh, I will purchase, you know, right away from the bookstore or Amazon or decks that I want, but not to the point of buying it, you know, straight away from the store. If I happen to find it uh, secondhand or something like that, then I can get it this way. So it's still a deck that I'd like, but not as much as a deck that I will buy, um, you know, pretty much full price from a bookstore or Amazon. So once again, <laughs> I'm starting this off with the White Newman. Uh, this deck has been out, I believe, uh, since last year. It's one of those decks where at first I thought I was going to buy it, um, you know, when it came out. But there were other decks that I liked more, so I kind of put it aside. And then I kind of um, uh, saw a few unboxing and flip throughs and it kind of re, uh, refired my um, wanting to get this deck. So uh, if I ever have a chance of uh, getting online or the next time that I'm in the bookstore and I see it, I will definitely grab a copy of it. It's mainly because of the pictures, uh, as you can see, they're very inviting. Um, there, there's a warmth to it. Speaking of warmth, the sun. <laughs> um, and I, I really like that that um, art drawing style. So, uh, and also that temperance card. I find it really nice. So, first deck, uh, and well, first deck on my list is uh, White Newman. The other one is a true heart intuitive tarot that's by uh, racial true now this is one an example of a deck here where i do want it but if i happen to find it uh second hand i'll definitely jump on it but if i do find it in the bookstore then i won't mind buying it this one the reason why i didn't purchase it when it first came out is that when I was seeing it on Amazon I had um, read reviews and a lot of people were talking about the quality of the cards that they weren't the best and so it kind of um, made me nervous of buying it in case once I did have it um, I would I wouldn't be very happy or maybe I would be disappointed and I wouldn't want to use it as much either because I wouldn't want to um ruin it or you know fray the eight edges or it's just you know the the sock would be so not good that I don't want to I don't want to use it or you know it's you know what I guess <laughs> I hope you know what I mean but lately I've been uh, as I've been consulting my uh, wish list I I'm starting to get more and more drawn to it and I'm thinking that maybe I might actually get it uh, this year. Well, if it doesn't happen this year, it doesn't really matter. But I, I think the more and more I'm looking at it, I'm, I'm seeing cards from the deck. Um, the more that um, I'm, I'm leaning more towards, I'm going to get it. So that is True Heart, Intuitive Tarot by Rachel True. Next. 
Disney villains. My, my. Now, I remember this one, first seeing it, it had a, a out date, I think, in July. Then it got pushed to either September or October, then got pushed to November. Um, and I think it did actually come out either in November or December. It is by Minerva Siegel. And uh, if you've had, if you have uh, the deck uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, same person. The reason why I did not get it but actually this deck was close to being one of the first one i was going to uh, actually pre-order the reason why i did not pre-order or get it when it got out uh it is because um uh if you're familiar with minerva seagull's deck the the majors tend to be very nice there's no issues you know if you look at the magician here uh and the high priestess but it it's usually uh, when it comes to the minor Arcana, it gets split. Some people are okay with it and some aren't. Uh, for example, if you remember the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, tarot deck, it seemed like some of the minor cards were either more pip style with very minimal illustration other than, you know, uh, being whatever suit it is, the number in the suit. Or there was an illustration, a scene, which was a little bit more uh, Rider Waite Smith. And so some people, you know, either were okay with it and others were not. That was one of the reasons why I ended up not getting uh, Nightmare for Christmas because it was a bit too much of a clash for me. And this is, again, here what uh, I'm kind of conflicted on. I've seen the, min the minors for it and that's why I haven't run out and gotten it. This would be a deck that if I fi uh, find it used... I wouldn't have a problem getting it, but um, I did not rush out to get it right at launch date or, you know, in the following month. Here we are in 2022 and um, I haven't gotten it. And also I find that there were a difference. Now, I don't have a picture of it of the uh, back of the box, but on the Amazon listing, you could see the back of the box. And for example, for Maleficent, uh, how she was drawn was different than on this card here on the two of pre uh, priestess. It seemed like it didn't quite concord. And I kind of like how uh, Maleficent was drawn more on the back of the box. But, you know, that's just a little thing here. Uh, this would be an example here of the Ten of Wands being um, uh, illustrated. But if you check, you know, on Amazon pictures that people that have bought it um, have shown, you'll see, for example, I believe it's the Nine of Wands. And all you see are nine buttons on, uh, on a character's shirt. And it, you know, a, a bit more effort could have been done. <laughs> but... You know, I'm, I'm not, uh, that, that's why, that's why I'm, I, I still would like it because it's Disney villains. I really would like to have something, you know, villain themed and, but you know, this, this kind of half and half, uh, ugh, it's a little bit difficult, but that's Disney villains by Minerva Siegel. Now, the next one on my list is the Yarn Tarot, which I think is published by the Sixth Spring in Book. I'm not too sure actually who created it, but the reason why I am very much interested in it and it's on my wishes, like for example, just look at the, the chariot here. Like so cute. It's so adorable. Um, it's a tarot, as it says, for crocheters, knitters, spinners, and weavers. So it's um uh, yarn work inspired so if you can see here with the high priestess you'll have you know knitted uh, clothing and fabric um if you see for example look at the lovers here um you know it seems like it was uh sewn or you know made with thread so i find it really nice or if you look here at the the hermit here instead of holding a lantern it's like a, a golden ball uh, ball of yarn um and and I like to crochet and sew. So this is why it appealed to me because it appealed to one of my hobbies or things that I like to do. Uh, and so and look at the sun, it looks so happy. <laughs> so that's uh, why I'm interested in it. I haven't made the uh, plunge yet. I do believe for the miners, it's a little bit more pippish. There are um, unboxing and flip throughs, flip throughs of that deck. I do not remember whose it was that I watched. I believe her name is Natasha from, uh, I want to say Moonlight Tarot. If I did not get the channel uh, right, I am sorry because my memory is not very good and I do not have my notes. Uh, I did not note it down here. But in any case, um, 
it's it's yarn uh, yarn or thread work. It's uh, it's uh, something that I enjoy doing, and I I like how uh, it was designed. So that is why it is on my wish list, and that is uh, oh my gosh, and let me go back because now I totally forgot the name. <laughs> it's the yarn tarot. <laughs> Now the next one is the Wandering Star that is by Cat Pierce. If you've seen this deck before, or it's, it uh, you know kind of joggles your memory, that is because that deck first appeared on Kickstarter where it was successfully uh, crowdfunded, and then it got picked up, I believe, uh, by Hay House. Yes, it was got picked up by Hay House to then be mass marketed. So this is the mass market of the Wandering Star. The reason why I it is on my wish list, once again, the art drew me in. I like the kind of cartoony. It's um I would say it's kind of female uh centric so far from all the cards. It's mostly women or feminine personages, however you want to say it. And I also like that on the um we're gonna call it like on the borders, you'll have keywords like for example <clears throat> for the magician, you have power, action, skill, power, uh action. So it kind of repeats here like power, action, skill, power, action. Um, you know, for example, the knight of sword, look at this pretty tiger um highs and lows conflict tensions and so you know sometimes it can kind of spur your interpretation of the cards and i just like how um the the colors used for this one uh so whenever i have a chance or you know when uh, i decide to make the plunge i definitely want to get it and um i'm hoping i can get it soon I, actually the funny thing is i've been trying uh, nearly all of December of 2021 to get this deck, but every time it was out of stock and I, well, yeah, December. And I think maybe end of November, I was trying to get the wandering star. And every time I was unlucky. And I think I even tried, I even tried, um, in January and it was still out of stock. And I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to wait. Like, I'm not going to, to <laughs> frustrate myself or try to refresh the page so I can get this deck. But maybe, uh, maybe this week or something, or maybe I'll wait until next month. And when, when I feel like I'll be lucky and I'll just snag that and put that in my, my basket to buy it. So that's the Wandering Star. Now you saw a little bit of it cause I flipped a little bit ahead the dungeon and dead and dungeons and dragon tarot deck why because it's dungeons and dragons very simple <laughs> okay that's as as simple as i can make it i enjoy i enjoy dungeons and dragons i have played dungeons and dragon i used i used to go rather regularly until the 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 dungeon master where at the place i used to go to got sick and then after that uh, the pandemic happened but when i saw this on the amazon listing of upcoming i hit add to wish list so fast like there was no question that even if i would have told myself 2022 i am buying zero tarot deck this would make the exception uh just looking at the box art shown there's not much there there's not a lot of well so far there hasn't been any pictures of the cards you know if you've seen uh players handbooks or you know dm handbooks uh that has to do with dungeons and dragons the art is beautiful so i have no um uh, trepidation i'm not nervous and i might not like the card the only thing maybe i may or may not agree with with which uh scenes or characters or whatever they decide to use for the cards but so far um you know what i'm looking at i like and because i like i'm i'm ready i have not pre-ordered it because <laughs> Well, Amazon, I think Amazon should be good for pre-ordering, but I've had bad experiences with pre-ordering, so that's why I haven't done it. But, I mean, as soon as I can, the, like, the closer it gets to the date, it does have a release date of May. Now, I don't know if you've seen what happened last year, but there has been a few instances when things that were, you know, uh, scheduled to be for a certain date got pushed back. For example, the Disney villain uh, tarot deck that was uh, first uh, had a uh, launch date of July and got pushed in the end, I believe two or three times all the way to November, if not December. So while I'm crossing my fingers that it will come out in May, 
there are chances, especially because there's still issues with shipping and, you know, deliveries and things like that, it might get pushed back. And personally, of all the decks that I'm showing here and that I haven't shown that are, that are on my wish list, this one, this one, do like, really, I, I just don't, don't, don't delay that one. I will be so sad. And I hope that they'll also put, uh, start to putting more pictures of the cards as it gets closer to May uh, so that I can have an idea. Like if I were to guess, just looking at this figure here, I want to guess that perhaps this uh, one would be, oh, you know, if it was upside down, I would have said uh, the hanged man. But this one, I kind of want to say hermit kind of vibe, although there are five doves. So maybe it's a minor, but you... <laughs> From my experience, when they put a picture on the front of the box, it's it tends to be a major from the major arcana. So I'm going to guess that it is the hermit. What about you guys? What do you think this card is? Put your guest, uh, sorry, put your guesses, <laughs> your guesses in the comment section below, and let's see if uh, we're right. And this one here, if we can uh, zoom it up, we have this uh, orc here. Uh, I'm thinking it's probably one of the uh, court cards here. I'm not too sure what, and because I can't really make out what it is holding, you know, it kind of looks like the red underneath the hand might be blood, like you could go maybe death or something, but because it's not quite clear, I'm not too sure what this one would be. But anyways, if you think that this, uh, the front here is, um, is the hermit, put it down. If you don't think so, just put, put your guess here. I'm curious, uh, for you guys to tell me what it is. Now, the next one. Tinseltown Tarot, a deck by 50s Vintage Dame. Just look at it. It's so nice. It, it, I don't know. There's something kitsch, fun, glamorous about it. I saw it. And I was like, you know what? I'm putting it on my list because I want to keep a lookout for it. Because at the time, all there was was the picture of the box. And I told myself, you know, I'm going to put it, add it on my wish list, if only to keep an eye on it and hope that maybe uh, they'll put more pictures in. And when I went to actually take a snapshot of this, looking for us, there are pictures. Let us look. Look at this Empress. I mean, this em Empress is Vava booming over here. And you know what? She is wearing a bathroom that low key I kind of want to have in my life. Like one of these days, I'm going to have that bath. Like if you think about it, it's a bit useless to have a, like, you know, feathers or whatever else at, at the at the wrist. But oh, one of these days. And then here we have I, I can't really read it. If this is the Empress, I'm not too sure what this one would be like uh, High Priestess. And then we have the death card here. Very uh, 50s Dracula. And so far, just looking at these pictures, I like, I like, I, I'm, I want to continue. Like, please, I hope they add more cards so, uh, so that I can really make my decision. But so far, just I, I have to say, the Empress is kind of already uh, selling me here. Uh, so uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, the launch date for this deck is also in May. All right, so cross our fingers if. This this one is this one does launch in May. I, it seems like May will be a high deck purchase for me already. <laughs> if we remember Dungeons and Dragons over there. But um, yeah, so so far, let's wait and see if we see more pictures. And so that is the Tinseltown Tarot. How Hollywoody, how uh, glamorous and curvaceous, right? So <laughs> let's see how it goes. Let me know if you what you think of, uh, of that deck. And now finally, this one, I couldn't actually add it on my Amazon because for some reason I couldn't for like, I believe it's on Amazon.com, but not Amazon.ca. But in any case, this is the Essential Tarot. Um, this one, I the box art actually, which I believe this should be the High Priestess, if I'm not mistaken. I saw it and I was like, ooh, show me more. And here I was on Google trying to look for pictures. And so far, I'll have to zoom that there for you guys. I, I like what I see, like the star, beautiful. High Priestess, beautiful. The Magician, like especially like, ah, oh, that this particularly, I like a lot. Um, there, once again, the art pulls me in. Uh, the Moon card, 
nice and the lovers i don't know if i was able to capture a picture of it but i from a review that i read from someone who had purchased it the devil card is those same uh characters the same people but with uh, horns on their head and a more darker um tone i guess so as if they they put a more contrast contrast to it now here if we see the miners we can see that it's more it's it's pippish but um i don't know how it's not quite scenic but you know i i think there's enough there that it's not just bare bones but there is a little bit of uh, you know minimalistic type of thing so here we have uh, the six of cups um or here again the six of swords six of wands six of, six of pentacles um you know the seven of cups more or less uh, looks uh, looks like the uh, the RWS um, seven of cups. It looks like it could be a clone, but with some differences here. Uh, if we look here, we have some more cards. Uh, we have the world. I I like this version of the world. It seems very um, epic. I'm going to call it. And the death card here, that one too. Usually, it's not the death card that will pull, draw me in, but this one, I I like the the choice here. And of course, the strength. What a tender hug. I like that one. Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, I'll, I'll call it basic, but very to the point. We got the tower. No people falling out of it, but very towery. And the sun card. Interesting. You'll see that there's no babies or, or uh, horses or anything like that. One of the reasons why I'm... Uh, a I want to buy it, but there was something about it that kind of put the brakes on it. So the judgment and look at this here, the five of swords. This is pretty cool here. You see the swords, the four swords in the background that are kind of broken. And then the one sword victorious, uh, the five of swords. So as you can see, it's rather pippish, but there's still kind of elements, I I believe, that can kind of work your, your, your brain here. Uh, then the five of skulls. And... Do you notice, do you notice what's happening here? What is this card? The card tells me it's the Hierophant and yet it is in the 12th position. Now, do we remember what number uh, placement is the Hierophant? Five. What is that placement 12? The Hangman. So I saw this, I was ready to start purchasing because I believe it's already out and you can buy it right now. Um, and I was ready to just put it in my, in my basket and go with it. But then I saw this and I, it was pretty much a record scratch. Just ah, wait a second, this ain't right. So now, and I was trying to look, um, if there were comments left by other purchases on whether that error was there in their decks or not, or if it was fixed. So now I'm sitting here going, do I buy it and risk that they never fixed that? And who knows what's in number five or they did fix it. And it's just that when they were, you know, putting pictures up uh, for marketing purposes, that was when they haven't they hadn't yet uh, um, fixed or corrected the mistake. So as much as I want it, I because, you know, it, it's nobody wants to order something online and then have to go through the whole process of either refunding or returning something so that, that's one of the big reason and this you know it's it's a pretty big enough of an error that it would it, it kind of turns me off I mean it's one thing if there's a, a spelling mistake ah you know I make spelling mistakes all the time so I probably wouldn't even notice it until someone pointed out to me but something like the position being wrong for a card unless it's there's well even if it was purposeful i to me i can't accept it if i can say it like that and that's why i i want it but this right there ah uh, i maybe you know what if one of you guys have this has this deck tell me is the hierophant correctly labeled as number five or what happened there if you know please let me know in the comment section and if if someone can assure me that no, no, no. Hierophant is number five. This was a typo. Like, I will feel so much better and I will purchase it with no worries in mind. But as of right now, it will stay in my uh, in my wish list with a question mark. Maybe I'll wait uh, a couple months 
thinking that maybe there might be a reprinting between now and then. So, but until then, that's where it's staying. So guys, these are my uh, tar my decks, particularly tarot decks that are in my wish list right now. You guys, tell me what decks are in your wish list? Are any of mine in yours? Um, are there some that I missed that you sh that you want me to know about? Please do. I if any, I love looking at new decks. It there are chances that I might buy it, <laughs> but I love looking at new decks. So tell me in the comment section below, what are your decks on your wish list? Um, how ready are you to buy them? Or are you just going or on a wait and see type of status? Um, you know, Dungeons and Dragons. Let me know, was that card the Hermit or something else? Or maybe it was, a, you know what? Maybe it was a High Priestess for all we know. Let, let us go back here. Let's, let's just, let's just, uh, there you go. You know, no, it couldn't have been a high priestess, you know. Okay, never mind. No, I, I still stick with with my guess. Hermit. Okay. What do you guys think? Was was that uh, what you think it is? Thank you guys for uh, sitting for a little bit and watching this video on the 31 Days of Tarot. Until next time. Bye, guys.